What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to Persona 3 Portable. One thing I want to correct real quick, and it actually has to do with uh, something I mentioned about a social link that we recently started. The one with Ryoji. I mentioned that this social link is extremely finicky and that every opportunity you have to hang out with him, you have to. I meant that whenever he has free time to increase the social link, you don't want to ignore him. Now, if you talk to him in the, let's say, after school and he doesn't have anything else to say, just a small snippet, that's the stuff you can skip. But whenever you see he's available for a social link rank up, you have to take it. Otherwise, the social link just dies. So I figured I should clear this up just because I don't want to confuse people thinking, oh my god, Ryoji's here, I need to hang out with him right now. But for tonight, let's hang out with Ken. We should have enough points. He's blushing, so I think we have a good chance of increasing the social link now. Let's see what he wants to say. We're gonna get the tender feeling music? Of course we are. Or you stormed off because I wanted to hold your hand? Because you were bashful. Try again. <laughs> he didn't expect that, did he? Yes. What? I don't like being a kid, but I use the fact that I'm a kid to trick you. So you use, like, reverse psychology on me? How could you, Ken? You're really beating yourself up over this. I don't mind at all. Probably when you can call yourself a teen. No, you don't. Ken, you don't really. Oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> You're fine just the way you are now. Dwar? What? <laughs> I'll try to catch up as fast as I can. Okay. Get taller in no time, I'll become a soccer star. Koromaru will be my wing puppy. He'll be awesome. Wait for me, Namine. Oh my god, that was what he was gonna say! Sure, kid. I have a feeling we did this, but... He's got feelings, too, and he's definitely showing a wide range of emotions now. He really does love us. Even though it's somewhat forbidden. Ah. Oh, sure. I mean, unless you want to play on the monkey bars for a little bit. Look at you, you smooth talker. Looking out for my health and well-being. Thank you, Ken. Did you talk to Akihiko about this? Oh, well, it's Friday the 13th. Oh, shit. Something bad better not happen. Kyoto trip? All right! Oh, come on. It's a little bit of culture. Actually, I've been wondering about that. I live in a state where there's absolutely nothing of note to like comment on or anything how is it for like tourist spaces like if you lived in paris where a bunch of tourists like to show up or in kyoto where there's a lot of shrines how do you like deal with that i, I think that would get a little bit annoying but then again it would be kind of interesting to see how many different people want to show up and see your city or your part of the world I think that would be really interesting. Hi, I guess. 
First year students do not normally go on a trip, but for some reason the seniors have not gone on one either. Oh yeah! It's a good thing I'm a junior. Hi, Yukari. Oh, okay. I'm here for you too, so don't forget that. Oh, I won't forget. Unbreakable bonds with Yukari are the best. Now, here's what I was talking about with Ryoji. Right now, he's available. If you do not click on him, like I am now, if you do not visit with him today, the link's over. And you have to reload your save. You want to go somewhere? Oh, I th think I can manage. I've got time. In fact, I penciled in specific time just for you today. Let's go somewhere. God, this, this is going to be weird. Almost finished with Ken. No, Hanging out with Ryoji. Step off, brunette. Step off, girl with buns. I'm sure she does. <laughs> Where do they all come from? Ooh! Ooh! I, I see all the daggers being pointed at me, but I don't care, bitches! God, I've, I've turned Namine into such a bitch, and I love it. Ooh, that's actually really good! Smooth line! Oh, Ryoji, let me pencil that down somewhere. Damn! Guy's got charm! Are you a host? Like, do you belong to a host club, Ryoji? Are you the princely type? Ow! Ow! Oh, all the glares! All the daggers! Is this your fault? <laughs> yeah, why did you do that? It's because I feel a special connection with you. No, oh, maybe he doesn't know. Maybe I just stole his heart. Ooh, new portrait. It's all good. Why? What has changed? Oh. Oh, three ranks in and he already wants to be sincere. All right. Ow! Ow! Ah! Ooh! Later, bitches. <laughs> well, that's eh, alright. She might shoot your hand off, but I think she would want to save my hand from the crossfire. Oh, what's up with Igis? I feel like I know her tip of my brain. So you think you know me, and you think you know Igis. Hmm. I don't think I've seen you somewhere before. Maybe passing by the grocery store? I don't know. Alright, so already Ryoji's got a bit of depth to him. I mean, he's a smooth talker. He's definitely got some good lines. But he seems to know us from somewhere. Familiarity. I mean, I know I, I look pretty gray, but I don't think I've seen Ryoji around here. I don't think he'd recognize me. Unless you were thinking about me, Ryoji. Oh, sure. I've got a few places I'd like to hang out. Hello. Hey, what's up? Junpei's not his usual self? Aw, tragedy. Junpei has to be his normal self. Maybe her persona went out of control. Ooh, interesting thought. Where is Jumpy? Where are you, boy? Need to talk to you. Let's see. He's not... Where the hell is he? Junpei! Need to have a little chat, Mitsuru? Won't be able to go to Tartarus for a while. Reason to fight or reason to live. Oh, that's, that's still so tragic. Um, where is... Junpei. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me try one thing. Is he in his room? It's Shinji's room. Ken's room. Junpei's room. Doesn't seem to be in his room. Well, 
Did I just miss him? Where is he? Junpei! Junpei! This is actually really important, Junpei. Where the hell are you? Actually, I just realized that Junpei is not here tonight. But the next time you see him, definitely talk to him. That's all I'm going to say. So instead of that, tonight, I want to show something off. I believe we have one last recording to take a look at. Let's see... Oh, no new recordings? All right, never mind. We don't have any more recordings. <laughs> That's my mistake. Uh, so what should we do tonight? What trouble should we get into? Let's take a gander at the town map. And head to Polonia Mall. Does Theo have anything for me? Never mind, that was a colossal waste of time. Sorry about that, Theo. Anyway, let's just uh, head to the arcade. Got nothing else to do. Game panic. We're going to stay here. We're going to increase Loki's uh, agility. And now back to sleep. Oh, yay. Abirayun Ken Basara Dotaban. I'll be teaching today because maybe it's best you don't know. Oh my god, what happened to our teacher? Oy vey. Practical magic, for instance, breathing techniques. You can create magic by breathing? Because breathing affects more than your body and influences the mind as well. Well, yeah, you have to breathe to make your brain work. Pneuma. Pneum. Pneuma. Pneuma. Gnostic Christianity is breathing came to be recognized as playing a crucial role in magic. Many applications I could name. One breathing technique is. Oh, it's yoga. Okay. Well, that makes a lot more sense now that you bring up yoga. Tan Tien Breathing. Abdominal breathing in which you focus your energy on a point called a Tan Tien. First, you must know where your Tan Tien is located. It's about three finger widths beneath the navel. Okay. So, all right. Why would such a place on your body be considered a special spot and get a name like this? It's because the Tan Tien is where the most energy can be charged. Notice if you send strength to the Tan Tien, you can feel strength anywhere else in your body. Hmm. Stabilizing the mind and body. If this is your first time, it may be a good idea to keep your hand on the Tan Tien to focus your consciousness. I have a feeling this is everybody's first time messing with their Tantien, Mr. Edogawa. Slowly and deeply breathe through your nose. I would, but I still got a bit of the sickness. I can barely breathe. You know, all this breathing is... It's really making me tired. Ugh. You know... Oh, hey, imagine that. Good night. I'm great status now. Thank you, sleep. There you are. I've been looking for you. Oh, hello, Takuba. It's rare for you to miss a student council meeting. I take it someone asked you to find me? Well, yeah, even though I'm not a member. Sorry about that. They seem pretty busy with the class trip and all. I bet you have your hands full since it's both for juniors and seniors. Huh, the class trip, huh? Even if I went, I'd only spoil the fun. You're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> you can't do that. You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. Is that so? To tell you the truth, you're not the easiest person to relate to. But I know what it's like to lose a father. Talk about. I decided that I should be more upfront with you from now on. Ah, there she is. I've been looking everywhere for you. Ryoji-kun. Why are you here? 
Huh? Didn't you come looking for Mitsuru-san too? It's the same for me. There was this guy who asked me to find her. He said that if I didn't, the class trip might get cancelled. Hide Toshikun. He'll hit up anyone in arm's reach for favors. But I'm the lucky one who found you, Mitsuru Kirijo. You're quite stunning, if I may say so. Would you like to go out sometime? I know this one restaurant. It's on the top floor of a three-star hotel. The view at night is almost as breathtaking as you. Uh-huh. Senpai, you better get back to the meeting. I, I suppose so. Takeba, thank you for your concern. For now, I will attend to my duties. Hey, she left without answering my question. For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Um, Yukari-san, how about you? Would you like to join me for dinner? I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard. Ow! <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. As soon as he said Shirakawa Boulevard, I knew exactly what punishment he'd receive. Oh, Mitsuru, I feel so bad for you, girl. Please, just let me give you all the hugs and we'll talk this out. My god, I do not want you to feel sadness. It was probably the mention of Shirakawa Boulevard, and plus you also broke up that really touching scene. Oh yeah, you better work on her extra. <laughs> don't, don't even bring up dads. That's the worst thing you could do. Anyway, we don't have anything else to do. So, hit up the fortune box, get a fortune for the Justice Arcana, and then we can move on with the rest of our day. We got that trip coming up. Hopefully it doesn't get canceled. I would love to go to Kyoto. There you go, Ken. Have a fortune. A little luck. You uh, you will not be significantly lucky or unlucky with money. Sweet. 500 yen. Thanks a lot, Ken. Really helps. Welcome back. Add to my giant wad of cash. <gasps> Mitsuru could go to Tartarus. Oh, that small girl talk actually worked. Oh, but I, I I really don't want to push her into it, though. School trip is next week, so that should be fun. It should be fun. Oh, no kid or dog. Sorry, guys. Maybe you can form, like, the K-team. It's like, Koromaru and Ken, dynamic duo. Mitsuru, are you really okay? I am. I'm actually really excited about this trip. We'll find a way to make it memorable, don't you worry. Junpei! What's up, dude? Went to see Chidori yesterday. Check this out. Every time she looked at my face, she got pissed. Uh-oh. What the hell did you do? I thought about asking the nurse if something was up, but I'm sure the staff doesn't give a shit. Uh-uh. You gonna stop visiting? No way! Do not give up! Come on! You don't have anything better to do. Exactly! You're a pest! Gonna visit her whether she likes it or not. Excellent, Junpei. There you go. By the way, that's really important. Do not skip that. Yada, 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 yada. Yeah, you figured that out already. For tonight, we have free time yet again. So let's go out on the town. Maybe we'll find Ryoji skulking around the mall. You know, I actually thought he was gonna be around here. <laughs> I was really hoping he wasn't. I don't I don't wanna predict the future. Lucky fortune! see what we're gonna get magic increase that's perfect for Loki excellent ooh no school today and we don't have wait a minute who's calling me hey Ryoji how the hell did you get my number I'd ask that about everybody but I'm really concerned about how Ryoji got my number this is important. Phone calls cannot be skipped from Ryoji either. So, talk to me. Why don't we go out somewhere? The weather is great. Actually, it does look pretty nice for mid-November. This is a required call. You go on this date, or you do not advance the social link anymore. Let's go, boy. Well, you're coming to my dorm, or... Oh, where are we meeting up? 
This is going a little fast, my friend. I haven't even gotten dressed yet. Oh, hell yeah! Best coffee in the whole city. Whoa, can we play the smooth talker too? Oh, let's do it! Damn it! We were just stealing his line. Crap. Oh, yeah? Look at all these couples around here. That's right. There's only one person on my mind right now. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Oh, did he just call me out? I think sometimes too. It makes my head hurt. What? Really? Is that a typo? Oh, okay. She. Oh, never mind. She's asking why would. you up on a playground when we were younger, or? I didn't think I meant that much to you. Aww. Well, this is going in a weird direction. I don't want to make the man cry. Naminate, what the hell did you do? Sure. It's been going pretty smoothly as of yet, so let's do it. Would it be alright if I asked you out again? <sighs> let's do this, man. Oh yeah, school trip. Let's find some time to go somewhere together while we're out there. I'm really looking forward to it. Same here. Wow, we just got a lot of points for Ryoji. Sweet. Welcome back. Hello. Yeah, there's nothing for for us to do here. Let's head out. Same thing. Back to uh, all the games. I kind of figured this would happen as soon as we maxed out all the social links that would uh, that only take place at night. I mean, we still have Ken, but he's not ready yet. We need to get him a lot more points. But we'll get there. Ooh, look at that. That's our school trip. Woohoo! Get my things packed. Get everything ready. Yukata, bathing suit, flashlight, snacks, all essential. Checkerboard. <laughs> well, you need all the essentials. I mean, I would take that if I had them all. Except for the Yukata, I guess. Tomorrow you leave on your school trip. I love Kyoto. At least I assume. Why wouldn't you let us go abroad? If the place was Hawaii, you'd let us go. Oh, yay. We get to learn about all of our... All of our favorite things here in our homeland. And that just... That just sounds so friggin' interesting, Mr. Ikoda. I think I might just pass out from how exciting that is. In the days of... I feel tired as those off. <laughs> Stay in great status. Hey, look at that. School's over. Hey, Junpei. Yep, we get to go on an amazing school trip. We should have some fun. And the hilarious thing is... You've been kind of that downer attitude lately, because you're always, like, striking out with Chidori, but it seems you're able to get some pet back in your step. You can't stand it! I guess, how about you? 
Am I nervous? How about you? <laughs> I guess not. Alrighty. Uh, one thing I do want to check. Mitsuru should be at school now. She's not at school now. Never mind. Head to the town map. You know what we're going to do. Head to the fortune box. Get another fortune for Ken. Because of course we are. Uh, we're winding down here in the social links, and it's just going to be a, a little bit repetitive to finally finish these out. Because I had no idea he was going to be this difficult to rank up. Sup, dude? Hey, what's up? School trip? Can't wait. Well, I mean, it's it's still away from this place. So it should be nice. He does! He's back to life. I mean, we were able to talk him through it a bit, but... Yeah, you, you had some, some time there, Junpei, where you were just down in the dumps. And we can't have a Junpei that is not enthusiastic all the time. Please don't worry about bringing me back a souvenir. He's gonna get you, Junpei. Get him something good. With that smile, I don't believe a word. Oh, okay. Well, now that he's written that down, or has said it out loud, I will write that down. Get some snackages for Ken. So, for our, uh, I guess, our checklist for Kyoto, we are going to be going away for a few days. The one thing you want, first and foremost, is to take this request right here. You have to take this with you. Just so you don't forget. And... So you know what you're looking for. The drink-loving girl near the persimmon tree may have some. She wants the Odin juice. But where do you get it? Well, you gotta get it from the girl. And what does she want? Something from Kyoto. This is actually a missable request, as the other ones are with deadlines. But this one is actually missable, and you'll have to reload a save if you actually miss it and go back on the Kyoto trip. So just keep this in mind. I'll go over it when we actually get to a point that it's relevant. But I'd say we're done here. Next time on Persona 3 Portable, we're going on a school trip to Kyoto. Sounds like a blast. See you guys next time.